When I was around 10 or 11, um, my uncle, who was only about 10 years older than me, just uh, passed his test, so he was around 19, um, had like a, a car crash and uh, I was pretty like, he had severe brain damage and like a, a dint in his head. Um, and like I didn't particularly understand what was going on. Um, it was funny because my, my, my nan was at my house at the time, they lived down in Scunthorpe and I live in Bradford, so like she'd come up because my mum was pregnant. Um, and I'm, I, I remember vividly, I'm sat on some stairs with, with my dad and they're in the front room and my nan's like in tears, crying, like howling. And I didn't understand what was going on. And I thought my mum, like there was some like, she started labour or something like that. I, like he didn't, I wasn't told until like a couple of days afterwards. Um, and seeing, seeing my uncle Richard go from like a bed completely like comatose and then like gradually building back up again. He, um, he was with us like a year where he had gone from being completely comatose to being like, he was like writing his name almost. It was like he had a complete reset and uh, and he was like he was a, a tall, like fairly built guy, um, but he was a he was a complete child. He was a, he was a baby again, and they had it was like a reset. And like he just got to a point where he'd like he'd started writing and stuff like that. Just about just sort of scrolls, but it, it was there. And like he was the the light was coming back on again, and uh, and something happened where it it is brain just went and pretty much a, a year to the date that he had his crash, he had a, a serious, I don't know what you'd call it, but he fell back into a coma and unfortunately he passed away. Um, that for me, at a young age, really, um, really put over just how much like life can be taken away from you, but also like how much if you, you work at it and like if you keep going that that life can give back and like I think I saw that it doesn't matter like how bad it gets you know this you can still build up from it and I, I think if he'd been with us today he would have been like at a stage of being like a, a normal person again but unfortunately that didn't happen um, he has like a special place in my heart because now I'm his age and I feel like now I'm in a in a position where I can sort of live my life like with him with me almost um, and now I'm doing stuff that he wasn't able to experience because at the time like he was at university and he didn't he didn't get to finish that and like I'm just coming up to the end of my degree so like I'll get to finish that I'm doing my lessons for, for driving which I've put off for like like a, a good number of years because like I think there was always a bit in my head that was like I don't know if like if my now let me drive in you know just like she was like really upset by it, obviously, and I don't know if my mum will let me drive, so like I always put it off, and now like I'm learning, I'm at a stage now where I'm I'm nearly ready to to pass and like and, and drive a car, and like for me that's a bit like, well, I'm really the first person after him that's in the family that's like learned to drive. It sounds so small and so nothing, it's just driving, but like we something like that that altered all his lives so much. Um, it really is a big deal and like for me wrestling he was always like a wrestling fan as a kid so I got some like old VHS stuff from him when I was growing up and like a Hasbro Bret Hart figure and like he passed that down to me so like that's still in my room sat there so like there's always part of me that's like it'd been so cool if he'd been here and being able to like enjoy these experiences with me you know and, and being able to see it because I know like he'd have enjoyed it as well. So like, that that's something in my life that's always like, he'll always be with me and he'll always be a part of me and he'll like, everything that I do a little bit is, is for Richard. <laughs>